Hey y'all, I'm doing one of these things. I bet everybody's shit in their pants with excitement right now. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of these fucking tier lists and I kind of felt like there would be. I'm going, this person right here has made, I think, a pretty good one because you got a lot of variety. It has like movie characters, it has like the OVA characters, it has X characters and it has a bunch of games. There were some that were like, better organized than this that had like all the characters like from the games but one they had an excessive amount like what do you think of this color chow what do you think of this color chow no i don't have that many fucking opinions on the different chows however i know i'm not supposed to pluralize chow but what fucking ever but this one uh just i like the variety it's probably missing characters but it's got a good bunch in here Although, what, is that like classic Amy or a different fucking version of her that I'm not aware of? I don't know. I like that this one, I'm, there's going to be some that I don't fucking know, so I added don't know them to the list. I also added F because they only went up to D. Come on, there's some F tier characters in this series. I love this series, but there's some shitty, shitty characters. I don't think we'll see many of them in the F tier. Anyway... Uh, I don't know who the fuck that is. I was just thinking to just use a weird picture of Metal Sonic, but no, Metal Sonic's right down here. So, this is... I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know what game he's from. I have never seen that before. Uh, Amy... Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go off of their, of their high points, because even, like, fucking Knuckles is gonna have some low points, you know? Anyways... I like Amy. She's a good character up until a point. I think like in the classic games, like some of that I didn't even know until my friend Chris told me about it in one of our playthroughs is like the whole like, what are those fucking cards called? She like, she used them to see that like, you know, romance was in her future and she believed it so hard that she went for it. Like she, <laughs> she made some pretty bad decision making and got abducted. But then uh, I loved how the fucking Origins, like months later when Origins came out, they had a cutscene that reflected that story. I had no idea about that, but yeah, Chris is spot on with that. I think in the Adventure series, they did a lot of good stuff of her, and then they just, like, immediately the transition to Heroes. She basically went from being, like, a character who had a crush on Sonic, who just wanted to be respected, treated like a hero, you know? She's trying her best, but no one's really given her the time of day to literally attempting to murder Sonic unless he agrees to marrying her in Heroes. Marriage? No way! Um, and from there on, it's just, I feel like she just got worse and worse as the series goes on. That is only commented on the games, because I know people say good things about her in the Boom series, I know people say good things about her in the comics. Archie is the only one I ever read, and honestly, I don't remember much about Amy from the Archie comics. I didn't read all of the Archie comics. I have to take a look at IDW eventually, but uh, really the games are the only piece of media I consume that much. X I've been re-watching with uh, Stuart and Chris on this channel, but like the games are basically where I draw the line. Uh, but Amy is a good character. She's not going in the S tier, but she's pretty close. She's a cl she's one of the she's one of the mains. Antoine. Oh. Put him in a... I remember liking this guy. He was kind of like the motherfucker of the group, you know? He like he was from Sad AM and also the Archie comics, and he was kind of a prick. He was just, like, always in a bad mood, but he was also, like, kind of a coward. Uh, but I remember, like, hitting a point in the series where he, like, he became a way more respectable character, where he started acting, you know, he was a lot more real. There's a... I remember, like, a story arc where he was, like, like completely unconscious for a long time because he got really, like, fucked up in a fight, and Sonic had such a guilty conscience over it because of all the years of him fucking with Antoine. So yeah, they, they they put some thought into this character when they wrote stories for him. I like Antoine. I don't know who this is. I'm assuming he's like a character from the Black Knight. Uh, Bark. I like Bark. Same thing, Bean, they're both here to go and see. Like, I like their designs. Uh, really, they haven't really done anything with these characters aside from finally giving them a cameo mania. And then in the Archie comics, I know that they were like... They would appear occasionally. I remember Bean being locked up in like an asylum in the issue where Sonic and Tails are fighting. And I thought that was funny. He's just kind of being a fucking dickhead, like smearing his face against the window, like mocking them and <laughs> trying to instigate the fight. That was funny. I like Bean. Uh, Gamma's robot uh, brother. Forget the names. Probably put him in C too. I mean, like, honest to God, it's, he's nothing special, but... He definitely adds something to Gamma's storyline. Big the Cat, big old C. Uh, I like I like Big the Cat. I think 
people get a little carried away with the Big the Cat love nowadays. Like, I like Big, but he's nowhere close to, like, the best character of the series. I don't know if people really argue that necessarily, that he's the best in the series. But, like, the fucking Twitter and social media, they've definitely taken a liking to Big. Because I think it's because other people took a liking to Big. I think that just happens with this franchise. Whenever a character gets shit on so heavily for a long time, you then, like, a few years down the road get a lot of people trying to contradict that opinion. Um, my biggest problem with Big is that I don't think his gameplay is that fun, and even if you do think it's fun, I still think there's the issue of, okay, sure, you like it, but it is so drastically different from everything else in the game that I just, I don't think it works. Like, the mech stage is an adventure, too, a lot of people don't like, but I still think it's in that ballpark, because there's still platforming, um, you're, you're still fighting, like, the same enemies, you're still, like, it's a start to finish to get to the map, you know, like, uh, yeah, like, it's just not really a speed based on speed. I think it's kind of like how Gamma works in Adventure 1, just with a little bit more weight to it. Big is just so fucking different from any of them, and I just don't think it works at all. I think his gameplay is horrible. Um, then in Heroes, you know, you get to play, play as him in a more normal way, and I can appreciate that. But I like, I always liked the design. When I was a kid and I unlocked him, I was like so curious to play as him. I had no idea what it was going to be. I was super excited because it was just this new character. And then it was like, oh, it's fishing. But uh, the character itself, it's kind of a simplicity to him that's charming in Adventure 1. And honestly, getting through his campaign isn't that bad once you know what you're doing. It's pretty easy to beat the froggy levels, honestly. The game just doesn't explain it well at all to you. So you can take a second to figure out how to actually latch froggy onto your fishing rod so you can like fish him out bio lizard i put him in c for the epic fight but he's kind of a stupid character in my opinion he's kind of like just throat rushed in there at the end he's got a silly design but i mean the boss fight both the shadow one and the supersonic and super shadow one are awesome i love that character itself nothing too crazy to go on the little bird from amy's story uh yeah we'll put her in put him in the c too Nothing uh, amazing about the little bird, but definitely contributes to a story well. Gives Amy a story, gives Gamma a story. Can appreciate that. An iconic little image of the series, Black Doom. <laughs> Black Doom's kind of funny. He's an unbelievably shitty character uh, <laughs> that doesn't work at fuck at all. But it's kind of like what adds to the comedy of like Shadow the Hedgehog, that game. So the unintentional comedy. So he, he's definitely a D tier, or uh, putting Blaze in fucking A tier. I think Blaze was an awesome addition. I, when they, they've added so many characters to the series as the years have gone, and Blaze was like one of the ones that just genuinely worked, in my opinion. Like, yeah, they. I, I wish they would include her in more stuff, in, like outside of like forces just being like, oh, they have all of the characters there. I think she's designed well. They attempted to in 06. I can, you know, you can appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, cool character. Sonic Rush is a pretty fun game, all things considered. We'll revisit that one eventually for this channel. How on earth we're going to record it, I have no fucking idea, but we'll figure this shit out. Uh, I don't know. I can't even tell what this one is. I think it's, like, cut off. Because I can, like, name things that that looks like. It kind of looks like an enemy from Sonic 1, but can't say for sure what that is. I think this is Bunny Ro Rabot. Uh, another great one. Another great one introduced very early on in the comics. Uh... Archie Comics. She was in the Sad AM show as well, uh, and she was just a fun character. She was a uh, she was solid. I like the Southern accent. <laughs> There's some really funny like out of context screen caps of her. I think she like literally says the cell for rise again. <laughs> one of the issues. Chaos is one of my favorite villains of the entire series. Mainly, like honest to God, not much to the personality or anything. But one they do give the character a backstory, which is appreciated. But also they just. Uh, it's just fun to see it, like this character grow into something more and more like horrifying as the game goes on up to the point where it's like literally the size of an entire city. Uh, Chaos is great. The Chow Mac Y. It's cute. It's cute. We'll put it in C. We'll put it in C with the other inoffensive characters. I'm, I'm moving Antoine up one. I'm moving Antoine up one. Uh, C is like inoffensive, you know, where it's like, I like these characters, but they don't really... It's more for, like, simplistic reasons, you know? Where Antoine... No, they, they did stuff with Antoine as it went on. I like Antoine. Charmy B. Eh. 
I've, I've never been that into Charmy, honestly. I've never been a big Charmy fan. I don't know if that's a hot take or not. I think he's the most annoying character in Chaotix. <laughs> Although I never played the actual game. I'm talking about, like, heroes and shit like that. Uh, there's a very weird subplot in the Archie comics that I'm pretty sure Ken Penders wrote about his cousin Overdose, and that's that's the extent of my knowledge. I'm so I'm assuming this is cheese. This is supposed to be cheese. It's just a regular chow, but it's got the bow tie, so yeah, it's cheese. Because we have Cheese's brother, who's going in the F tier, but in the D tier. I, I'm going to put Cheese in the C tier just because it's like kind of like the default chow to an extent. Uh, I think, is it Choco or Chocolate for... The other chow that's like that you're saving in heroes that one's going in the d tier because that's just that's just laziness right there that was they that was just them throwing in another fucking chow and changing the color palette making it another find the chow thing fuck off chip uh i'm gonna put chip in the b tier exclu spoiler alert exclusively because he dies I, I think that he is a fine addition to sonic unleashed he doesn't annoy me but i'm also i'm glad that they decided to make him a one-off they didn't like try to find ways to force him back into the series like they did with silver or bring him back like they did with shadow i under you know i no no disrespect to those characters we'll get to them when we get to them but uh i i like i like chip and i like that they kind of give him an arc and i like that that arc has a complete conclusion to it uh, I think without that, like, conclusiveness to him, he would just be another CT character to me. But no, I, I think the fact that they actually gave him a story that they completed and then stayed true to that ending, that, that puts him up in B. Uh, Chris is the first genuinely terrible character. <laughs> I can't defend Chris. Like, Chris is just awful. It, it's supposed to be a sympathetic character, but everything in his life is going right. And I understand that it's like... You can make the argument, if you want to get really philosophical about Sonic the Hedgehog here, you can make the argument that just because he has a lot doesn't mean he's happy. I mean, fair enough, but, like, they're trying to paint him as the lonely kid. That's the problem. He's lonely. He doesn't have friends. One, he has friends. One of them being in a wheelchair, might I add. That would have been... I know I'm not... I'm, like, the millionth person to say it. Not really, because I don't think there's a million people who watch that show, but... I'm like the tenth person to say it, but that would have been a way better companion for Sonic in the show is the girl in the wheelchair versus Chris. But his family does actually make an effort to see him several times throughout the show. He has all these servants, and he does have a group of friends, and now he has all these animal friends, but it's just, it's still never, nothing's enough for this kid. And they really did a bad job making him sympathetic. He's genuinely irritated, and I can't fucking stand Chris. Um, Knuckles and Sonic, I mean, you know. I'm gonna talk about the, it's like just the classic versions. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how I feel about like looking at these as like different characters, you know? Because I kind of preferred what Generation said, where it's just classic Sonic is Sonic in the past. That makes sense to me. I like to imagine that all of the games are things that he's been through. This isn't really a ranking of the different renditions of these characters. Granted, I do think that there are multiple versions of them around here. I, I mean, I guess that they're different enough. I, I don't know, I kind of always like to see classic Sonic and classic Knuckles as the same characters as the others, so I'll put them up there in the S tier, but I'll talk about them more when we get to the modern versions. <laughs> the general. Uh, put him in the C. I, I think it's, I think he's funny. I think he adds something, like again, like he's just... I'll put him in D. If I'm going to put Black Doom in D, I guess he should, should go in D then. I think he's a funny addition to that game. Like, how fucking dramatic his cutscenes are. The fact that one of Shadow's, like, biggest enemies in this game is just a fucking, like, U.S. Milita <laughs> military man. Fucking general. That was funny. Shadow, damn you. It's been 50 years. Justice will finally be served. Cosmo. I know who Cosmo is, but I haven't made it to that part in the series because when I was a kid and stopped watching the show, I, I basically stopped watching after the Adventure 2 adaptation, so I never made it to Cosmo. And we're doing our watch of it for the channel now, um, but we, we're like not even close to the part where Cosmo comes in. I know people love this character. I mean, this is probably, in terms of new characters out of deck, she is probably the most beloved. So uh, I expect great things with her. That's cream, right? Uh, hmm. Brr. I feel like I fucked up this ranking already <laughs> because I think cream is fine. I, I don't know. D. 
She's a D. Yeah, no, I feel okay about that. I don't think she's the worst. No one in D is the worst. But I just never really got the appeal of Cream that much. I don't know if anyone else did either, because I don't think I've seen her. Even in Forces, I think she was absent. I'm trying to think of the last time she showed up. Maybe Shadow. They don't they don't they don't even acknowledge Cream anymore, so yeah, I don't know. If you like Cream, that's okay. She's not like a blatantly shitty character like Caress. Uh, which one's Cubot? This one's Cubot because this going again going in alphabetical alphabetical order. Yeah, Cubot, like Cubot, Cubot and Orbot. Where's Orbot? We're just gonna group them together. I think that's him. The color palette's a little weird, but I like Cubot and Orbot. They're good uh, minions of Eggman. They're more comedic ones. Most of his minions are comedic, honestly. Snively's like the only one that isn't. Maybe the two from Underground aren't either, but I never really watched a lot of that show. <laughs> I saw like an episode of it. Those are good ones. The Dark Chow. See it here, I like, it's a, kind of like the key. It's stupid in Adventure too, because this one's just normal and there's a dark one. Why isn't it the Hero Chow? Why don't we have the Hero one? Why is the dark one the only one I care about? This is clearly a Boom character, but I haven't seen that. Don't know who that is. These three fellas are from Sonic Riders. I like that game. I never played the two sequels, but I recognize those three. They're fine, fun little designs. I don't know who that is. That looks like a fan character to me. Eggman is like obviously a fucking S tier. Eggman fucking fucking top notch shit, you know? Look at all these Eggman's robots. Uh, he's great in every iteration. There isn't a single game where there's like nothing to appreciate. Even in 06 where I think it's the like, I think that's one of the ones where his design is really bad. But I mean, you still have Mike Pollock doing the voice, you know. So, good shit. Uh, the Egg Robo. This one's from like, I think it's in Sonic 3 and Knuckles as well as R. And it kind of inspired the look of the hard-boiled heavies. I almost want to put him up a little higher just because I... I, I, I this is like one of the... Yeah, I, I honestly I'm going to put him up into B because I just like the design more. I like, I like these guys, too, these four I put down. I think those designs are fine. Same thing with Cubot Orbot, but I think in terms of, like, robots that he designed, I, that, I just like how goofy this one looks. I like, I like Egg Robo. <sighs> Elise. I'm torn between don't know them in the F tier because I played 06 when I was a kid, but I made it for, like, maybe three levels before fucking the game disc up because my fucking Xbox broke it because the commercial showed it up on its side, so I thought you were supposed to put the have it up on its side like the Wii and I put the game in that way. They got a huge fucking scratch in the center of it that went all the way around, uh, and the game didn't work anymore, and I cried. Uh, so <laughs> I never finished it. I, I know about the incest, not the incest, not the fucking incest, the bestiality. I know about. Well, I know that that creeps people out. Uh, I know that she's kind of a disliked character, but I feel like there are people who've come around on her as time has gone by. It's again kind of that big the cat thing where it's like. The more a character was hated, the more people kind of contradict, want to contradict it later down the road. Haven't seen that with Chris Thorndike. Haven't. It seems like everybody is just still in agreement that he's horrible. Um, this guy is from Sonic Battle. Not Adventure 2 Battle, but just Sonic Battle. Uh, he gave him a little bit of an arc. Doesn't he have like an arc with Cream? I remember liking him fine. We'll put him in C. Is this, is this a Razor Gen? I never played that game, but I remember that name just because how fucking dumb it is. This is just Black Doom. Uh, SBO's cool. Oh, I fucking love Fang. I thought Fang was such a cool design. I think design-wise he was great, and I wish they used him longer than they did. I love that so many fan games are embracing him. Like, Robo Blast 2 has him as a playable character. Someone just made a freaking Triple Trouble, like, fan remake. I guess it's just generic Flicky. I'm fine with Flickies. So they should go in D, because I'm only fine with them. C, that, I like C. Okay, this is how it works. S is like the fucking top notch. A, it's like, I really like this character, but it's not the best of the best, you know? B is not perfect, not a flawless character, but one that I like. We're still in like, I like it territory. C, we're even still in I like it territory in C, but it's like, I like it for smaller reasons. Say either adds on to something or it's a cool aesthetic. And then D is where it's like, it's fine. It's fine. I don't I don't like these characters, but I don't I, I either there's like they're so bad they're good, or I'm just indifferent, you know? It, they're fine. And then F is like Chris Thorndike. Um Froggy. Complete the image. There we go. Put him next to big. 
feel similar to Froggy as I do in Big. Um, Black Dark Knight, Black Knight. Yeah, I mean, I remember these. Just it's just fucking Snuckles and Silver with medieval armor on. I feel like there's probably a more creative way you could incorporate a medieval version of them. Change features on them. Don't just give them fucking armor. I don't even remember Sh like Silver having a. Did fucking. Jet the Hawk have a knight version in that game? I don't remember that shit at all. Yeah, we're putting all of the knights in the D tier. Just like f the fact that they didn't really even try to do anything with them. Uh, Gamma, great, great robot. One of the best of the entire series. Had a story and everything. Got to play as him. He was not a bad character to play as. Really good design. I think this guy is also in battle, but I don't really remember him as well. Gerald Robotnik, like the execution scene, definitely unsettling shit from when I was a kid. Hard-boiled heavy, fucking great enemies in Mania, designed very well, super well animated. Don't know what that is. I mean, the fan character is a D. I don't think I don't think that much about it at all. Like the story that they give the fan character is forgettable like I can't even really tell you what happens to them and then in terms of design I mean I guess that's just how you want them to look you can make them look really shitty or you can make them look okay you know like the one that they portray the game with the like default one with the, the glasses like the fox looking character of glasses like he's fine oh uh, this is the unlockable character in uh Sonic the Fighters that like well, not even unlockable, like, you got it by, like, messing with the game's files, because I think she was in there. Because she's, like, a Sonic version of a pre-existing fighting game character. I can't I don't know. Forget the details on that, because it's a fighting game I'm not that familiar with. But I think they brought her back as, like, a playable character in, like, a later release of Sonic the Fighters. Uh, yeah, I like the history behind that. I'll put her in C. Um, Infinite. Infinite's design isn't the worst thing, but Infinite sucks. It's like they had no idea what they wanted to do with him. He is like a villain that is super hard to read. I don't, un yeah, I'm putting him next to Chris. I don't, I don't even fucking understand him. Don't know who that is. Some of these guys might be from Chronicles or Boom. Jet the Hawk. Let's see. I like, I'm fine with Jet. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Knuckles is a fucking S tier. I'm gonna be kind of, these are gonna be kind of normy things in the S tier, you know? But Knuckles is great. How can you not love Knuckles? They, uh, I think they did a really good job with him just kind of being this rival character for a long time. He's such a fucking ass in Three and Knuckles, but then at the end you get to see him get electrocuted almost to death, so that's nice. Um, but then after that, after that little bit of violence there, you're able to just be friends from there on out, and it's great until he gets tricked again in Adventure. And if you're counting the shows even more times. But, uh, yeah, I think that for a while they kind of did a bad job with this character like a lot of people don't like that they made him a dummy i think what they did in boom was fine because it's a comedy if you want to make knuckles the dumb one that makes sense to me i think that was better than what they did in forces where they're trying to make him like this le brave leader but they don't write him anything interesting to say whatsoever and then the movie version of him was great very very refreshing probably the most dignity of the characters had in forever i don't know who that is don't know who that is this is a character from sonic shuffle who I don't remember well enough. Yeah, I don't want to put her in F. I remember it being stupid, but I don't want to put her in F. Um, character from Boom, which I haven't played. Marie, it kind of looks, it could be like the girl in the wheelchair, Maria, but I'm assuming it's Maria. I don't think the girl in the wheelchair would be notable enough. See, I mean, she's an important staple of the series. Nothing about the character herself that really resonates with me, but she adds, she adds. Um, this one's weird. She, there's two... Okay, she's the one in Rush Adventure. I don't know this character. Because then there's the one in Boom that looks just like her that was apparently just coincidental. Like, the people who designed her were not aware of this character. Like, this was Styx the Badger, and I forget what this character's name is, but they're not the same character. She's in the Rush sequel, which I never played. The original Metal Sonic... Put it in the C tier. Menthless. Uh, never made it that far in 06. Fucking motherfucking Metal Knuckles fucking me over in that race. Metal Knuckles is cool. I like his design. Metal Sonic is going up. Not here. Not Metal Sonic. You're mighty. 
Yeah. Why is Classic Tales there? The, it's all, uh, the alphabetical, it's all out. Uh, Metal Knuckles is fucking awesome. He's the fucking ultimate rival. Or maybe Shadow is. We'll talk about that. Uh, Tails. Yeah, Tails is S tier. I mean, it's it's fucking normie shit, I know, but the f I think the original characters of the series were the best ones. Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and Eggman. Um, Amy and Metal Knuckles are also have also been there since the beginning. I just uh, I like those two a lot. I mean, A tier is no, no small feat. But uh, my favorites are the fucking main characters. I, they were good ones to focus on. I Movie 4, movie, I mean, movie 3 will be cool, but I already got all the characters I wanted to see in the third, the second one. Uh, Mighty, I always liked Mighty a lot, actually. I think it's a nice design. I'm going to put him in with Ray right now. Um, I like those two a lot. I'm glad that they're playable in Mania, especially when they got, like, no reference made to them, really, <laughs> in the original release. When they made Plus and made these two playable, it was just, like... It all felt justified. Really cool character designs. I like them a lot. Glad that they, like, Sega finally decided to use them again. Um, I remember her from the Archie comics, but I don't remember her that well. She's like a singer. Uh, possibly a Ken Penders character. I don't, I, I think she was there after Ken Penders left, though, so probably not. Why, why this thing? You know, for, for just for that fucking segment of colors? Nah, I'm just fucking around. C tier. Good design for Bad Nick. I don't know why that one's there. I don't think a ton of the Bad Nicks are. Um, Eggman Nega. I don't fucking know. D. I love Eggman, and I, I'm not, I, I like Gerald and whatnot, but Eggman Nega was, did not leave that much of an impression with me. It's just, it's recolor of Eggman. I don't know. I guess it's kind of neat that there's like different alternate versions of him, and like, cause like, Rush is all about like there being two different universes. So I guess that's that was neat, but nothing about that left an impression. I don't. Know. Maybe after the Rush replay for this channel, I'll have a different perspective. This is Metal Sonic from Heroes, but I never made it to the final boss of Heroes. Um, Fiona, right? That's her, right? I don't, that's like Amy and Black Knight, I think. Blaze and Black Knight. Or possibly uh, Secret of the Rings. I'm just going to move these de guys down to Don't Know because I mean, I don't actually remember their personalities. Maybe they did something fun writing wise. Design wise, it's pretty lazy. Amy is a l like is better because they like changed the entire. I don't know, like. And she looks the same, but they have, like, accessory. I guess that they, they do with the knights, too. I don't know. For her, it just kind of feels like she blends into it better, while the others, it's just, like, the character, but they put a helmet on. <laughs> Fiona, I believe, is, like, I know, is, like, kind of their AI throughout the series, and she eventually gets, like, a physical form. I like Fiona. Fiona's good. Um, This is less good Gamma, but he's still good enough to be C. Omega. Um, Omo Chow. You know, kind of a jokingly hated character. I think people do genuinely hate him to an extent, but... Um, but it's fun to beat the shit out of him. I don't hate Omo Chow. I like that they gave you that as a feature. I respect that decision. Oh, this is Orbot. So who the fuck did I put up there before? You, get the fuck out of there. Is that evil Orbot? To call his father. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Probably a boom character. Professor Pickle. It's fine. I guess it's like... I, I don't... I, hot take. I don't like the human designs in Unleashed at all. People will praise them because it's like, oh, it's more cartoonish. It blends in better. I don't disagree with that necessarily, but I don't... I still don't like the way that they look. They look like... It looks like if you went onto like a... Like a 3D mo like model websites you could like download them and use them for your projects like it, fe it feels like the characters in Unleashed would be like the default ones for like a 3d program or like if you go to like one of those again one of those websites where you can buy 3d models of characters that's what the characters in Unleashed look like Professor Pickle is definitely the most unique looking one he is not a character that made a super strong impression with me but not a negative one I a negative a negative enough one to be an F all right so 
obviously we knew this was gonna have to come. So we have to make a new category for the president from Adventure 2. I'm sorry, it's just the rules. Once again, I have failed my duty to protect our nation. Sir, it's not over. We can continue to fight. The Black Aliens may have rendered us unable for now, but we will rally, sir. You must keep your nation strong and together. Yes, keep the nation united. No matter what happens, we'll never surrender to these creatures. This much I learned from them. Sir, please hurry! Okay. The black creatures will feel their own bloody hell. Eggman or Robotnik. Yep, that's tier. Great fucking character. Don't know which version of metal that is. Is that just supposed to be classic Amy? She looks fucking pissed. Am I missing something with her? We're gonna say that's classic Amy, and we're gonna put her up in the A tier. Next to regular Amy. Rotor? Rover? Rotor? I can't remember, but he's the fucking seal from the Archie comics. He's a chill dude. I like him. Rouge the Bat? Uh... Friend to all of the perverted and some of which non-perverted Sonic fans. I like Rouge the Bat. I don't know if she belongs in the A tier, though. I like what they do with her as the series goes on, though. I like kind of the bond that she forms of Shadow as it goes on. That was nice to see. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Rouge, Rouge gets a spot in the A tier. I always liked Rouge. I believe that that is a IDW character. Sally Acorn. Good character. Like the Archie comics a lot growing up, and she was on Sat AM. She was definitely. Yeah, no, I mean. I've got all the female characters in the A tier below the S tier, but there were. There, honestly, God, the series does have a lot of good ones. Um, they're just not all, like, demonstrated, like, in the games, like, the mainline games, necessarily. Because even, like, my second. Probably my second favorite one is Blaze, but she's, uh, she's like in a spin off You know, she's not in a mainline game. I think, uh, I guess she is. 06 and Forces, but that, she's not. Oh, nobody likes 06. I mean, people do like 06, but weird people like 06. And then Forces, she's not playable, so, you know. Scrooge. Scrooge is interesting. Because he just starts off as, like, fucking evil Sonic, which is just Sonic wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> And then he, like, morphs and changes into this, like, fucked up character who steals Tails' love interest in the comics. He has quite the arc. He has quite the storyline. Um, putting him there. I don't know who the fuck this is. Is that Sally? Is that Fiona? Is that who I was just talking about? Let's just say that's Fiona and put her next to Scrooge, except... I'll put her up, uh, I'll put up her up one more because I like, I like that arc. I like that arc she has of Tails. I like that more than Scrooge. That's something that they like set up really early fucking on and then it pays off like 200 issues later. It takes, that, that is something that is set up so fucking early and obviously it wasn't planned that they were gonna like, okay, we're gonna take 200 issues to set this up. They just really picked a good time to bring it back up. Like I like that that was a series that despite how long it went on, um, everything that happened up to that point was still canon except for Ken Pender shit, which I guess was a lot of it. I don't think it's a surprise that Shadow being A. I'm one of the cynical people that thinks he should have died after Adventure 2, but I get why people are happy that he's back in the series. Maybe like a reboot, like again, the IDW comics, I don't have an issue of him being there. Even the Archie comics, but for the mainline series games, I don't know, Adventure 2's ending loses some of what made it special, you know? This isn't a, this is a fucking uh, Secret of Rings character, I think. Don't know who that is, but it kind of looks like a different version of that Metal Sonic, but like a nice one. I don't recognize that guy. He's probably from 06. He might be from a writer's game. Silver. People gonna get mad if I put him in the C tier. I don't have a high opinion of Silver. I like his design, but... I don't know. Maybe when I play 06 again for the channel, which is probably a far way down the line but when I do it, maybe I'll appreciate Silver a bit more. I can't really say that, I just, I don't really, 
have much experience with the character. In the comics, I don't remember reading about him too much. I remember there's like one scene where fucking Sonic kicks his ass <laughs> because he accuses... An it's the same one with Antoine. He accuses Antoine of like being a traitor when Antoine's in the fucking hospital, like knocked out. And then Sonic like beats him up and then like shoves him in the hospital and saying, that is who, that, that's who you're talking about. He gets like pissed off and it's like, I, I liked that part. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything with Silver, though, aside from that. I mean, the boss fight with him in um, Generations is neat, but I, I, the fight in 06 is fucking intolerable. Okay, fine. Okay, there's two SS tier characters. Who the fucking who? Okay. Um, Sticks the Badger. I like her. Uh, maybe if I watch the show, I'll, I'll put her higher, but from what I've seen of her, see the one of Jet's people. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> who the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know who that is at all. I don't, I'm surprised how many of these fuckers I don't recognize. Tails doll. I like Tails doll. Regular Tails. Uh, yeah, S tier. These are the boys. The boys just chilling. Uh, where's Whisper? I, I see Tangle there. Yeah, there's Whisper. I don't, I, here, here's the thing, I didn't, like, I never read the IDW comics, but these two got put onto the fucking mobile app game, and I was like, who the fuck are these two? Are they gonna be in a game that's upcoming? Like, who are they? And then I looked them into them, and I read some of their, their pages. Uh, I can't put them, I don't feel like I can put them in A, just because I haven't, like, read enough, but I'm gonna put them in B. I like these two a lot. These two have, like, a ton of potential. I love their designs, and I just, I love their, like, interactions. I, I, they, they, these two specifically make me want to read IDW. I like these two a lot. To call... Put her in B. Cream's mother, D. Vector. Goes to the trip, to double S. Oh, wait. This might be the thing that's in... Shuffled. I don't know if this one is. Maybe it is. Maybe they're both. This one's in Shuffle. I remember Shuffle, like, I feel like it, it tried to have a story, and it tried to have, like, a deep story, too. Which is weird, because it's a Mario Party knockoff. But it just got fucking weird. You're suffering because you're missing something. Imaginary world. Pieces of dreams. Come on! There's nothing to be afraid of. If we're together... My wish! I want to become whole! Um, put her there. There's like another ghost. Oh wait, you know what? There was like this unleashed short that these two ghosts might have been from. Um... Fuck. It's getting annoying putting these guys in. Yeah, this was a good list. I feel like I cover, I'm cover. i covering everything I want to cover with this one. This is a good list. Whoever made this nailed it. Um, Unleash Sonic. Sure, we'll put him in B. The Wisp. See, I guess. I mean, there's things that are annoying to me about the Wisps, but as a whole, I like the concept. The Deadly Six. None of these guys stand out that much to me. Yeah, I, I don't hate them, but I'm not, like, super fond of them either. I think that they're, like, the weakest part of Lost World, and they didn't have to be. They're designed well, but they just, I don't think that they're fun characters. I, I This is, like, one of the few episodes of Boom I saw, it's where he has, like, a crush on a girl, and I think that's who the girl is. It was fine. D. <laughs> There's another one of the fuck. That's the emo one. There's his robots from X. Uh, probably, probably two of the weaker ones. Not that fond of them, but I don't hate them either. This fucker I hate. This is fucking high pitched voice. I won't. I won't do him dirty like that. He shouldn't be an F tier with Infinite Chris and Sonic. King Boo. Boss fight gets a little repetitive after you do it enough times. It's not. I, I, I like kind of Egg Golem. I think is fun to refight. The ghost, I just think the fight's too slow for me to enjoy it, but I love the design. So we'll stick him up in B. IDW character, I recognize her, but I haven't read it, so I don't know much about her. 
<laughs> um, I don't like the human character. I don't really like a lot of the characters in X, but the grandpa and Mr. Tanaka are definitely like more tolerable. Um, Mr. Tanaka, I almost like kind of like the grandpa. Eh, I'll put him in C. No, I'll put him in D. He's kind of like so bad. It's good. I like I like a lot of the jokes we get out of him when we do our recordings. Mr. Tanaka. I like him, there's a charm to him, I like that, like, he figures everything out and just kind of keeps it to himself, like, when they're trying to, like, keep all of, like, these characters, like, a, like, Chris is trying to keep, like, Sonic and his friends a secret, I like how Mr. Tanaka's just like, yeah, I knew, and he, but he just didn't say anything to, like, anyone, he didn't, like, rat him out, but he also didn't tell Chris that he knew, <laughs> he's just very to himself, I like it, The frick, she is horrible, she is, like, <laughs> if there's anything that that show needs to apologize for, it's her. <laughs> But I won't put her in F tier. We will, I won't. I won't do. I won't. Hmm. Maybe she should go in F tier. There's a likability to her, is the thing. Like she's not like a complete fucking monster like Chris is. Is that like X? I don't. I don't think I ever made it to that part. Kind of looks like a screenshot from X, but I don't, I'm not familiar. I, I know that there's like a form he goes into in one of those episodes, or maybe even multiple of those episodes. Is this supposed to be the fucking Sonic the comic version of Super Sonic? Like, what, Super Sonic is just, like, a villain? I'm gonna assume that's what that is. Because I think that shit's awesome. I love that interpretation. I don't want it to be the mainline interpretation, but I think for just, like, this one completely different spin-off series that's, like, separate from everything else, I love that idea that Super Sonic is, like, evil Sonic. <laughs> but that was always really cool. Don't recognize him. Scratching Grounder. Um... I won't lie and say nostalgia's playing a role here, but I like Scratching Grounder. I'll put them in the C tier. Goofier henchmen of Robotnik. They're kind of in the middle of someone like uh, Agent Stone, who I don't see on the list. Hmm, maybe you should have included Agent Stone. I feel like he kind of draws a line between Agent Stone and like Cubot and Orbot, where Cubot and Orbot are like kind of like constantly insult an Eggman, constantly berating him <laughs> to his face. And then Agent Stone genuinely loves him. He's like one of the, like the only minion that genuinely loves Robotnik. Meanwhile, Scratch and Grounder are respectful of Robotnik and act like they love him, but it's only because they are horrified of him. Like they, they, they it's like kind of different extremes. And then you have the two from X that are just boring. Sorry if you like them. I, I Maybe once we finish the show, I'll have a different opinion on them, but I just remember being really bored by them all the time. Um, Snively is a great minion. He is terrified of Eggman, but he kind of grows to be a bit more malicious as the show goes on, as the comics go on. It, both the show and the comics, honestly. The season finale, I think it was like the season one or season two finale. I think they had two seasons where he's basically taken on the role of main villain and then it got canceled. But the comics did stuff like that too, and the comic shows like... Not just he is afraid of him, but there's a deep resentment for Eggman in that series. There's this really weird arc where Eggman loses his fucking mind, and it's like really creepy and really disturbing. Um, but he is just completely... He's like enjoying it is what I remember. He likes seeing Eggman like this. He's happy that he's going for this. So yeah, there's like... He's like a villain himself. I like him a lot. I think he's a great... I think he's a great character. I like the evolution of him. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who that is. I have, is that just supposed to be Tales from Lost World? That doesn't count as a character. I mean, that's not who it is. Is that Boom Tales? Why is Boom Tales there and not Booms and not Boom Knuckle? I don't even. I don't fucking. Oh, no, that's gonna be like Dark Knight, uh, Black Knight Tales or Secret of Rings Tales, probably. I don't know. I don't know enough about these three to keep them there. I don't know who they're supposed to be. In fact, let's get rid of all the other don't knows. Don't know. No, that's a Ken Penders drawing right there. Don't know. I know these are from Adventures of, just because of the drawings, but I don't remember them. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I know him. Don't know. Okay, I think we're all good now. This is like a final boss. It's a cool design. I like it. B tier. The Whale from Adventure 1. I mean, sure, why not? Put him in the C tier. He's a memorable level element. Uh, I like this derpy looking one from uh, Mania. I think it's from Mania. It could have been a reference to something that I'm not familiar with, but uh, this guy's in Mania. That's for sure. He sure is a Mania. 
Uh, the guy with the word speed on his shirt, he's not a great character either. He's from X. Not a lot of X characters are great. We have the robot that's chasing Amy throughout the entire game. Sure. C tier. Gives Amy a little bit of an arc. Don't know that guy. Coconut. I like this guy. He, he was kind of like the backbone of the operation. We're scratching grounder. We're, uh... Like just fucking cowards. He 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 like I think he's intimidated by Robotnik, but he's like a lot more willing to go against orders. He's a lot more willing to try to take on the role as main bad guy. So yeah, I think in terms of like the minions in that show, he's like one of the better ones. The cop from Sonic One and also a little bit of Sonic Two, the movie. He's likable. I like him. Um, he's not like a great character or anything, but he fits that first movie just fine and. His small scene appearances in the second one are fine too. I guess I'll say the same thing about his wife. I think she, she's a, she would be like if I was like ranking all of these characters like from like one to however fucking many are on here. I think she would be lower than him because she just has less screen time. But I, I kind of put them and picture them in the same place. Jim Carrey would have been in a pretty low spot before, but I think that in the second movie he was a lot better. He was a lot more animated, so I'll put him in B. Definitely nowhere near as good as like. Your boys up here, but still pretty pretty entertaining in that movie. Um, I'm gonna have the OVA characters. Oh, I guess we'll do the movie Sonic. Uh, yeah, very likable version of him. Um, fuck it, I'll just count him as a different another rendition of Sonic and put him in S. I like that he's more vulnerable in the movies. He ma he makes way too many fucking quips, but I mean he looks good. The design was good once they fixed it and. Yeah, I mean, I think Roger Craig Smith Sonic, depending on which game you're playing, is either annoying or super enjoyable. Just depends. So, yeah, I'll just kind of count him as Sonic. Put him in the S uh, A tier. Or S tier. Then we have anime. <laughs> I swear to God, this shot of the owl here could have been inspiration for the cool dude pose that Papyrus has in Undertale. Uh, I like that owl. I'll put him up... Uh, Put him in C. He doesn't belong that high, but his, his scenes are good. And then uh, this guy is a D-tier character. He's not very memorable, but he's I guess he's not the worst. He's just kind of a whiny king. She's annoying. Yeah, she's F. She's fucking irritating to listen to in the OVA. And that's like the point, too. She's supposed to be annoying. She's a whiny, bratty girl and... I think they try to make her charming by the end of it, but they completely failed. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, no, so th those are, like, to me, like, three real, genuinely just, like, terrible characters. Chris Thorndike, Infinite, and whatever her name is. Um, but there's not a lot of characters in this series that I hate, you know? Like, even the ones that aren't amazing, I can get something out of, whether it be a good design or just genuinely not being offended by it. Um, see, like I said, like, aspects I like about them, but nothing amazing. I almost feel like, hmm, I'm gonna bump Fiona up one. I like Fiona. I think I'm good with this ranking. This took so fucking long. This took so fucking long. And sadly don't know who them seems to be the biggest one. But, what can I say? These people, the person, the good folk that made this list, uh, they put a lot of characters in, a lot of variety in, which I can appreciate. So yeah, that's my freaking tier list for this. Uh, stay tuned for the Better Call Saul one. Jesus fucking Christ.